No more free rides. The company that runs the commuter rail has a new plan to solve a persistent problem. For years, the T has run low on money, and for years, the commuter rail has been part of that problem with conductors not collecting all the fares. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Martin. And I'm Paula Eben. Keolis now believes it has a solution. Fare gates at a few very busy stations. WBZ's Ryan Kath shows us the plan. Three. It's a multi-million dollar loss year after year. Keolis, the company that runs the commuter rail system, estimates that 15 to 20 percent of riders are not paying the correct fare. I guess we've all cheated the system, right? <laughs> it's mostly because tickets aren't always checked. Sometimes the trains are so crowded conductors can't get down the aisles, and sometimes there just aren't enough conductors. So they plan to put in a system like the one subway riders already use. Fare gates at North, South, and Back Bay stations, which are the biggest on the line. In fact, about 90% of riders pass through those three hubs. I think it's a good idea. That way the MBTA will be able to capture lost money. Lots of lost money. Keola says the fare gates could bring in up to $24 million each year, while the cost to install them would be about $10 million. Riders who board at the three stations with gates would swipe to get on. Those who board everywhere else would swipe to get off. Hold everybody accountable, make sure everybody's paying for what they're getting. But not everyone thinks the fare gates are where the system should spend money. Before MBTA and Keolis make a major capital investment in another project, they need to improve basic service. With operating costs estimated at about $7 million, Keolis claims the new system will easily pay for itself. MassDOT says commuters should expect to see construction begin by the end of the year. Ryan Kath, WBZ News.